So we've been waiting for a 4K gaming console for quite a while, and it's finally here with the Xbox One X, latest console from Microsoft. And first of all, I wanted to just thank Microsoft for sending the console over. They sent it with a bunch of games, so we could actually sit down, play, check it out, get a good feel for it, and see what it's all about. Now, this is your Xbox One X, all black console, uh, retails for $499, and it packs in a lot of power. This thing can handle six teraflops, and you're going, what is that? Well, it just means it can do 4K, 60 frames per second, real smooth, and HDR. It's also got a built-in 4K HDR player. Now, you can see at the back, the ports are still the same. We've got your HDMI in and out to USB 3.0, optical, Ethernet port, gigabit Ethernet as well as the power supply built in. So all the things that you want with your gaming console is still there in terms of hardware. Design is really slick and simple. The power button, another USB 3.0 port in the front. As I mentioned, a 4K HDR uh, player. But what you care about is gaming. How does 4K gaming look on this console? How does it handle? What's gameplay like? All that kind of fun stuff. How do I experience it as a gamer? Well. First off, I'd say it handles really well. This is captured directly from the console, playing Gears of War, still looks sharp, vibrant, um, also handled well just in terms of just gameplay. It was smooth. Uh, I didn't notice any slowdowns whatsoever, so I really like that. And then taking a look at a game like Super Lucky Tales, yes, it's not graphically intensive, but again, it looks and runs very, very smooth. That is what you want with your gaming experience or whether you're looking at a highly intense graphical game or something more platformy like this. Uh, and the console gives you that kind of smooth breath. Uh, now, now, the one thing I will mention to everyone is that if you're like me who basically has uh, an external hard drive for the console, um, the, to get the best, of course, load times, you want to install your games internally in the console itself but still your gameplay and performance uh, just handles really well and looks great on this now the next game i actually checked out and played in 4k is killer instinct uh this game just looks so beautiful in 4k ran really well and smooth um, especially when you're chaining all those combos in there i think it was a really really fast and smooth experience but i want you guys to actually just listen and enjoy some gameplay <laughs> Yeah, it handles well, and that's what you want. You want a console where you can sit down on your couch, sit in front of your 4K HDR TV, and enjoy 4K HDR gaming content at 60 frames per second. Now, granted, not every game is going to run that way, and these are Microsoft first-party games that I actually played, so of course, tuned well for the system to actually handle that. The other cool thing is that you can actually capture in 4K HDR. So basically, you go into your settings uh, and you can see uh, capture 4K HDR. It says 30 seconds if you're capturing it internally, but you can capture on an external hard drive uh, for up to an hour of a capture section. So it doesn't matter how big your hard drive is, you can just store all that in there. Now, the interface, of course, with the full update is pretty smooth and snazzy on this. It actually feels much smart, faster than my Xbox One S, um, which is nice. Of course, you've got a faster system and faster performance. Uh, if you want to check out more about, of course, the uh, new fall update, uh, I have a link for you guys here. You can hit the cards to check out our fall update uh, video uh, to see how it works and handles. I like this console. I like the kind of performance I got from the console. I like the fact that every game I played handled 4K 60 frames per second very well. But it also has a 4K uh, Blu-ray drive, which means watching things like Planet Earth look sharp and vibrant. Uh, the lion looks just beautiful. The lightning looks very vibrant and sharp. Uh, that's the kind of thing you want. You want to get that whole package. And I think Microsoft provides that gaming and entertainment package here with this. Or even if you're watching a movie or something like uh, Westworld, for instance, a 4K Blu-ray, again, the colors show, just the vibrance of the scene, especially in the Western town, those things come out really well with the Xbox One X. I have to say, 
say though, I have enjoyed this thoroughly um, as a console. Uh, if you guys know me well, I like to harp about 4K HDR gaming. I was happy with the Xbox One S being able to upscale and do 4K HDR. I'm excited that this console actually does proper 4K, uh, 60 frames per second and HDR, and I can still play my HDR content with the 4K Blu-ray, which is great. That for me is the experience I want to get. So if this is something you guys want to, definitely use our link down below to pick it up. Xbox One X will be available on November 7th. It's $4.99 again. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, definitely subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.